Shoulders going to drop down low in behind the net. Leeds maintain control. Looking for Shudra up top. Gulliver's on the puck. Takes it in behind the net. Closed down from Solder. Took that option away from again. Both Solder and Gulliver are on that two-way with Manchester. Back in the shoot. Brown takes his time just to drift it through. Big rebound in front. Leeds put it away. Right off the start. They're going to work it on that power play. First with Kieran Brown. And on that play, they worked it through. But scrambling in front of the net. Looked like a bit of a knuckleball. But you see the play develop now. Gulliver's comfortable on the play. Works it back. Everybody's expecting this big rocket from Brown. But then Gulliver follows that play up. Starts in Kieran Brown. He rolled that play. And again, they worked that thing. They worked that Gloves are off and behind the net. Swinging big time. Players just tying themselves up. Good hold work here from Leeds player as he ties the player up. Put a shirt, shirt over the head early as the play kind of broke free. Then it's all got tied up in that play. And again, when the gloves were dropped, the hands were being thrown by Barnes and behind the play. Takes advantage, gets the teams going right there. And again, Leeds defenders got to pay attention to Bullis. Now it gets it through. Over the shoulder of Gospel as they break free. Leads two on two. It's back into the middle for Brown. Brown goes wide. High over the shoulder of Skins on that goal. You gotta think there's not a lot of danger in that play right now. You can see the play right here. So Kieran Brown picks the puck up. There's no real danger, but you've given up way too much of a drop in. And then you play on that screen, goes over the shoulder of skins with Kieran Brown when there's a loose puck you've got to pick him up at the red line if you give him 10-15 feet to have a run at you what he does right there he knows Aaron Nell is going to probably he's going to take that one-on-one -on -one play but he's a bit too far back Kenny read that play from defense to winger Ross Kenny was up on that play before the forward even got it comes across into Jones Jones goes down low across to Malazinski looking for Pagazdi in front of that net back into Jones Nell switches the play Back in the Malazinski, back in the Jones. Jones over the shoulder, puts it wide, and it came through. They have to be patient on that Wildcats power play. People, people will be shouting, shoot the puck, shoot the puck. But on that play, they're just patient. They work it around. They know where they want to go. Jones is the player they want to get to. And it comes over to Jones, and Jones goes over the shoulder. Gets the Wildcats back into this game, but you got to like the rotation. Good composure from Malinsky. Now Jones wants to get in. Look where he picks that puck up. There's not a lot of space up there, and he puts it away where the postage stamp goes on the envelope. They get the Wildcats back into this game. Leeds Knights 2, Swindon Back in the skins. Big rebound in front to Kieran Brown. Kieran Brown on the puck. Takes it behind the net. Dangerous situation for the Wildcats. Goes back out to Hare. They put it away from Adam Barnes. Crazy, crazy situation for the Wildcats as they've got momentum. Now they come back through, but this all happens. Bad bounce. Now it's panic stations. Nobody picks up Barnes. Five players. Big rebound drops it back. Ethan Hare shows a lot of composure right now. You see Ethan Hare, but watch Barnes. Nobody picks him up. Everybody's isolated on the puck. That's composure on Ethan Hare. He had the option to score himself, but he looked at Barnes, and Barnes puts it away. 109 remaining in this first period. Leeds Knights 3, Swindon Wildcats 1. Mentioned it in last night's game as when did you score a goal, the next two minutes are critical, not the, the opposition to get back into it. Goes back up top. And penalties, he's putting the opposition under a lot of, a lot of pressure in the zone. Hazeldon takes his time. Plays it up in a Chilcott. Chilcott gains the blue line. Gets it through. Skins will want that one back. No way that's got to go in. But he gets it on top of the net. Power play again comes back. And again, Hazeldine switches the play over to Chilcott. There's no danger here at all. So Chilcott just comes up. He's looking to make a pass, but he just gets it through. And it comes through. But that's a little play from Joel Coulter. Just to get in front of Skins' eyesight. Comes through. And there's no danger right now. Wildcats again. But they drop back. Give that shot away. Coulter's there, but it slips by. One-on-one, -on -one, Malazinski tees it up. Good save from Gospel. Just held his lines right now. It's a bit uncharacteristic for Malazinski right there. You thought one-on-one, -on -one, surely he's going to deke. Comes right back, and Kieran Brown puts it away on that play. So that's how it works. It's got two things as they go through. You come through from Malazinski. Malazinski misses that opportunity, but it comes right back through to Kieran Brown. Comes back through, and Kieran Brown drives it wide. Puts Leeds Lights up by... 
by four in that quick transition. We come through, pick that from. Comes through the middle. Up on the blue line, toe drag. Gets through on the net. No chance that should be going in, but again, good hands and just gets the puck on the net to put six on the board. But right now, you see this play break down. It comes through the middle. There's no real danger right now. One against four, comes through the middle, stick checks. But Kazdi will want that one back. It's a dangerous situation, so from here, the focus will be on Brown. Comes through in the middle, missed opportunities, comes through, takes that shot, beats Skins on the short side. Leads nice, starting to pull away from the Swindon Wildcats. Back through to Taylor. Taylor with Bullis. Bullis gets it through onto Taylor. Gospel makes the save as it comes through. But again, Taylor just chips that in. Wasn't expecting that as it comes through. So it comes through from Bullis into Taylor. And Taylor just gets on top of the net, puts it away. And again, Wildcats slowly will start to creep back into this game. 6-2 is a lot of miles ahead. Still early in the second period, and you got a third one ahead. But all that is is just getting pucks on the net, creating opportunities on the play. Bullis gets the puck, and Floyd Taylor just chips that puck onto the net and gets by Sam Gospel again. Godfrey on the puck. Doesn't have the option he wants it through. Gets it through. Sam Godfrey at the point. Puts Swindon Wildcats rightly back into this game, and Godfrey just throws everybody with that play. He looks to take a shot. There's no real danger right now. Because back through to Godfrey, he freezes it right now and everybody backs off. Now he's got that screen, he's got that net presence in front of that net. But whatever you see, everybody reaction right now. Comes back on the fake, the Leeds player, Hare does that big turn. Plays a stick, back into Pagazdi. Pagazdi walks it through one-on-one -on, -one on his backhand, plays it back to Malazinski. Malazinski gets it through, great work from Ballin Pagazdi. No panic at all, drops it back, 6-4. Wildcats firmly back into this game, but look at the composure from Pagazdi right now. Toe drags here, now he's got the option, plays it in the pallet into Malazinski. Malazinski goes from backhand to forehand, better than most in this league. But it's that play, nobody picks up Malazinski as he comes through, but right now, no shot, onto his forehand, gets it through on Goss. From now, Pagazdi loses man on the wall. Switch play, leads break free, Gulliver all alone, Skins has got to come out of his net. Loses the puck to Gulliver, puck gets out front, puts it away at the wrong time. You don't want your goaltender coming out of the net like that. And Harry Gulliver just comes, puts pressure on the goaltender, and it comes right back in the front, they put it away. So right now there's no danger, the puck goes into the corner, Gulliver has it. There's no real need for Skins to be out of the net, but look at the coverage in front of the net. There's Baldwin, Shudra as they come through. If you watch Shudra come through the play, no one picks him up right now. They switch off the fence, it was a turnover. He finds the gap right in front, reacts, puts that puck away. But again, there's no need for Skins to be out of the net on that play. Wrong time, wrong opportunity. Over to the side. Now he can dig in and pick up that puck and play it back. Comes through to Malazinski. Malazinski's got options down low. Looking for bodies in front with Bebris. Good stick coverage for Gulliver up top. Through the Nell, no works it down low to Jones, gets across, and the Wildcats put it aside. So that timeout they had, they had the timeout, that blood timeout down in front of that net. Pretty much allowed the Wildcats to have the discussion, but you can see it works it through. It's back through to Malazinski, down into Nell, the net presence in front. Looked like Bullis got an end on that, but I'm going to come back to the face off. Two left handed shots on the offside worked well for the Wildcats there. It goes back through, back into Jones, gets to their front, 7-5, tough time. There's a lot of time on this clock. Wildcats roll. Bucket through, Shuja breaks free, chips it by. Jones gets back, good transition. Gulliver still on the play. Gulliver puts it away, and that's gonna be it tonight at the Leeds Planet Ice Arena. Leeds, Leeds Knights eight, Swinna Wildcats five, 143 on the clock. On that breakaway, Wildcats have pulled their goaltender. Shu just plays it free, and Gulliver just sits in behind looking for that loose puck. He's not giving that one up to Joe Porter. He's putting that one away. And Harry Gulliver, again, has been outstanding for the past couple of nights. It's good to see that transition he's made now. And again, he's on that two-way with Manchester, along with Ben Sold. Had a great career with the Ogden Mustangs. And again, one thing he is, he's an absolute finisher for me. You know, I'm pretty comfortable saying that. Solder. Solder's going to run this one down. Leeds have been good tonight. Wildcats has probably just got a bit behind too early in this game, but again, full house at the Leeds Arena tonight. Swin the Wildcats go down against Leeds. Leeds Knights eight. Swin the Wildcats five. Omar Bregs.